Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the percentage of the steel reinforcement for different structure members. Here are the four important structure members. These are beams, column, slab and the footing. So we have to determine the minimum and maximum steel reinforcement for each of these structure members but according to the engine standard 456. IS 456, 456, we have to find out the minimum and maximum steel reinforcement for different structure members. The ICE code provided some minimum and maximum reinforcement percentages for these structure members. So here we can start from the first one which is a beam. So for the beam, the minimum steel reinforcement is 0.2% of the cross section and the maximum is 4% of the cross section. Now what does this mean? So if I draw here a beam cross section, for example, this is in a beam cross section with a width of, for example, 300 millimeter and the depth of the beam is, for example, 400 millimeter. So the minimum steel requirement for this beam is, will be 0.2% of the cross section area. So what is the cross section area of this concrete, for example, it is the cross section area will be AC will be equal to the this multiplying these two quantities so 300 multiplying with the 400 so this will be the area of the cross section and we have to take its 0.2 percent of this cross section 0.2 percent means we divide this by 100 so when you multiply this value 0.2 divided by 100 with this cross section area we find out here 2 40 millimeter square so this is the minimum amount of reinforcement to be provided for this beam cross section there's a minimum amount of steel reinforcement as minimum similarly here they provide the maximum range for the steel reinforcement that it should not cross a certain maximum proportion for the ductility reason and this is four percent of the cross section four percent of the cross section of the concrete so again here if we took another example let see here again we have 300 millimeter and 400 millimeter is the depth of this beam so what does it mean by the four percent of the cross section it should be the maximum requirement of the steel so it is it will be equal to the four dividing by 100 so we change into decimal multiplying with the cross section which is 300 into 400 so 4% of the cross section. So this will give us the value of 4800 square millimeter. So it means the minimum, the maximum reinforcement to be provided for this cross section is 4800 square millimeter. So it means here the minimum is 240 square millimeter and the maximum is 4800. 100 square millimeter for the beam cross section for a certain cross section which is the width of 300 mm and with depth of 400 mm if we change this to depth and weight of course their value will change because it depends on the cross section area so this is the minimum reinforcement uh, requirement when we have cross section of 300 and 400 mm similarly here for column the minimum reinforcement requirement is 0.8 percent of the cross section and the maximum is 6% of the cross section. You can do also in the same way, like if I remove these things here and go and take another example. So here, for example, it's my column cross section and the section is 200 mm and 200 mm. So the minimum reinforcement is 0.8% of the cross section, so 0.8 multiplying it with the cross section area and 0.8 divided by 100 multiplied with the cross section area which is 200 into 200 so the minimum reinforcement requirement here is 320 square millimeter and the for maximum it is 6% of the cross section 6% of the cross section means 6 divided by 100 multiplying it with the 200 and 200 so we got here 2400 square millimeter so this is the maximum reinforcement requirement for this cross section 
and this is the minimum requirement for this cross section similarly here for slab the minimum is 0.12% of the cross section and the maximum is 4% of the cross section for the slab design again for the footing the minimum is requirement is same as the slab 0.12% and the maximum requirement is not a fixed value here this value changes and there is no such fixed percentage for this uh, structure member footing so these are the general uh, the different requirements for the minimum and maximum steel reinforcement for the uh, design of different structure members according to the IS 456 hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video